and welcome to the Popular Cruising Video Podcast. I'm Jason Leppert, your host, as well as editor of PopularCruising.com, and today I'm happy to announce yet another cruise that we're going to be covering and sharing with you. This time we're going to be on Holland America Line on a seven-day Canada-New England cruise, which will be fantastic because we haven't been to this area for years, and we can't wait to see it again and to share it with you. As you may know, our last two sailings on Holland America Line have been Dancing with the Stars at Sea theme cruises, and although this won't actually be one of those cruises with the stars and the dancers on board, there will indeed be Dancing with the Stars content as there is on every Holland America Line sailing, and it'll be interesting to see just how that program is implemented on normal sailings. The ship that we'll be sailing on is the Veendam, and it's one of the Stottendam class ships for Holland America. This is one of their smaller ships, and we've had a chance to tour these in the past in San Diego, but we haven't actually sailed on one yet. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what uh, the ship is like uh, on an actual sailing and to take advantage of some of the, the venues that have been added. The ship has been refurbished, so one of the venues that it has is Mix. And that includes three bar experiences, including champagne, martinis, and spirits and ales for the third one, including microbrews. So we're really looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Uh, we definitely saw this area on the Stottendam, thought it was really cool looking. It has a more modern vibe compared to some of the uh, other decor on Holland America. So we're really looking forward to seeing this. Another area that's worth mentioning is the Retreat, and that's on the back of the Lido deck for adults only, where they have a number of uh, hot tubs and pools that you can enjoy. Um, there's even a movie screen that sits above this area, so that's kind of interesting. We haven't seen that before on a Hall in America ship. So we're definitely looking forward to enjoying some great relaxation time there and telling you all about it. And another thing that we've really enjoyed about Holland America Line in the past is the exquisite dining on board. Going to definitely take advantage of that again. We're going to be going to the Pinnacle Grill twice. Once for their regular menu, their grill items like the porterhouse steak that we really enjoy. And another time for the Le Cirque experience. And this is a specialty uh, dining experience where the whole restaurant is basically transformed into a different uh, dining room altogether. And of course we'll also be enjoying Canaletto, the Italian restaurant that's up there on the Lido deck, uh, as well as the, uh, the main dining room, which is just as great as uh, all the specialty restaurants on board. Really, it's right on par, so we love all that. Both my parents will be joining me on this cruise, and to accommodate the three of us, we will be enjoying an outside stateroom. But also on board this ship, they have the Lanai staterooms, and this is a really cool feature that's offered on the promenade deck. Rather than just having a window that looks out onto the promenade deck on some other ships, you have actually a patio door that opens up. So you don't necessarily have a private veranda, but you have the expansive promenade deck that uh, you can always go out onto and uh, get a great view of. And as far as the itinerary, you know, a Canada to New England cruise is really a niche itinerary, but it's a great one. And I'm looking forward to revisiting it. It's been years since I was there last. I was really young. So looking forward to checking it out again. Um, we're going to be leaving from Quebec City in Canada, and it's going to be uh, heading all the way to Boston, Massachusetts, back in the States. As you know, most embarkation ports, you don't actually get a chance to really tour much. You get on and you're sailing right away. But in this case, we will be overnighting in Quebec City. So we'll have a chance to have a full day of touring the next day. And uh, with that, we're going to be taking some shore excursions from the ship and enjoy what the city has to offer. The next day after that we will be cruising the Gulf of St. Lawrence, so sort of a sea day, but obviously in a different uh, body of water here. And then after that we are going to be going to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, followed by Sydney, Canada, where we'll also be taking some tours from the ship. And Halifax, Nova Scotia will be after that, and we're going to go ahead and take a little Titanic tour uh, with the history there of uh, the different bodies that were recovered and taken to uh, this area there as far as uh, a lot of the history. There's a museum there, so we'll be enjoying that as well. We will also be going to Bar Harbor, Maine. It's a tendered port, but we'll have a chance to go ahead and walk around the town when we get there. And then we'll finish up in Boston, Massachusetts. And even though we don't overnight in this last port, we do have a later flight that we're leaving on, so we'll have a chance to take a tour transfer before that and get the chance to see a little bit of the city. So we hope that you join us on this cruise as we share our experiences. The best way to follow us, of course, is at popularcruising.com and right here at the Popular Cruising Video Podcast. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by going to popularcruising.com slash iTunes. And of course, as with all of our sailings, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask and for us to answer, you can uh, go ahead and go to our social networks. Uh, everything is at Popular Cruising, so facebook.com slash popularcruising or Twitter at popularcruising as well. Uh, we hope that uh, you have a great day and bon voyage, everyone. Bye-bye.